what if I can help you understand how to score more points very simply, no matter what position that you play or the role that you have? Because everybody wants to be a scorer and everybody wants to score more points. So it gets a little confusing on how you can actually do it. You see, every other trainer is posting about these new moves to add to your game. They break down plays and these highlights from different games. And they just tell you to add everything to your game. You start playing and the only thing that's really different about you is how confused that you are. Well, I'm gonna help you out, okay? I'm gonna figure out how you can add more points to your game, no matter your skill level or the position that you play for your team, okay? So first and foremost, we have to begin by identifying which type of scorer you are. So first, are you a shooter? Austin, long distance Curry, hits the brick. Victories over the Lakers and the Kings. Lawson. Curry, just incredible. Gets it back to Steph, up to Denver and Phoenix. Or are you more of a scorer? He's got a shot and he is a tough shot. Are you a slasher? Are you a non scorer? By non scorer, I mean somebody who doesn't really score as much, or you kind of do other things on the team, or maybe you just can't play at all. So, first off, help my shooters out. So, for my shooters, so the first thing for my shooters, they're going to want to run you off the line. So, the moment you catch the ball, you're going to play high and try to get you to go and drive to the goal. So, unless you're cool with not scoring, then hey, you might as well skip this and watch the end of the video. But unless you want to get more scoring, then you got to start adding the next few things to the game. So, first, you have to add some pump fakes. Mix in more mid-range shots. Work on your handles just a little bit because now you get more creative ways to still get your shot off. So by adding a pump fake, by more than likely going to say, hey, there's a shooter right there. By you pump faking, they're going to want to jump. They're going to want to leap up to contest your shot. Now you can drive in more and still get to the bucket and get a score. But you mix a couple of mid-range games, now your pump fake punch more lethal because I have to contest three. You pump fake, one or two dribble pull-ups, mid-range, and you're good. By working on your handles now, you become a little bit more elite to where, hey, you can pump fake, get a little side tip. Pump fake, and you can dribble in and add a little bit more for finishing. You can pump fake, and you can uh, take a dribble in and then step back. All these little things to mix and match to your game to where you're a shooter, and now you're building off of that. So you have your tree that's growing, growing up, but now you have your branches growing out from that game that you have. So if you're a shooter, mixing some pump fakes, working a little bit more mid-range, working your ball handling. So now you can still score besides everything being catch and shoot. Now for my scores. You're already getting buckets. The ones who can take the ball off the dribble, kind of go one-on-one -on -one with your defender, and you're not worried about getting buckets. Well, it's a little bit different for you because you already got it going. So for you, you're probably going to see more double teams. It's going to force the ball to be out of your hands and force you to take more difficult shots. So for you, my scores, you get to work on your passing and get your teammates more involved because if the whole team gets more involved, they can't load on you as much. And uh, they pretty much will. And because they're going to double team you, if you learn how to get your teammate uh, the ball at the right time, now if you cut off of that, guess what's going to happen? So right now they're playing four on three because two are doubling you. But if you pass it and you cut and get away from those two, it leads you to get a good bucket or at least a better opportunity. Be a little bit more of a playmaker Yes, you're not going to score as much, so now you can score a little bit easier. So instead of force feeding yourself to get 30, you might get 25. I guess it's a little bit effort, so a little bit lighter load that you have to carry now because you have some teammates to come help you out. Because if I have to worry about me, myself, or I have to worry about one player getting the ball and I stop him, I shut down the rest of the team, then I'm winning as a coach. So for you, you have to be able to get your teammates better opportunities or make them be more of a threat to where I can't just load up on this one player. I have to worry about more. I have to worry about four other players on the court too. So be, be more of a playmaker and figure out how to get them a little bit more involved one way or another to where now you can score more points and score them a little bit easier. Progress is not about perfection and being perfect. It's about making growth no matter what. It's about pushing yourself to the limit and beyond those limits. Every challenge that comes your way, you're overcoming them. And it's about striving to become more and doing more. Every single step, every single day, every single dribble is a victory. You won as long as you're making progress because progress, progress, progress is the only goal. So invest into that progress, invest into that dream. Get yourself a reminder 
that progress is on go. So now for my slashers or my drivers. You're more comfortable inside the lane. So they're gonna force you to get out of the lane. They're gonna sag on the screen so that you go under, and they're gonna just drop off you and force you to shoot the ball. Kind of tough for you to sort consistently when you're doing it. So besides obviously working on your shot and getting better on the outside game, you can also work on your timing of your passes. Be a little bit sharper, a little bit better with your off ball cut. So if your point guard or another primary ball handler has the ball, you can just work on your off ball cut. Maybe set a screen or two. Now you get cleared up because your teammates clear now. That's just coming off of you. Now you flash and get the ball easier for you to score now inside the paint where you want to be at. So if you don't want to work on your shot, that's another option that you have. You still need to work on your shot too, because it's one thing to be uh, a great off the ball score, but once the ball, ball gets back in your hand, you're gonna have the same issue that you're gonna run into. So you can work on your mid range shot. You have to go all the way to the three ball, but just a little mid range pull up because when you get to the point where they back up so far to force you to shoot, if you have a little bit more range outside the lane, a little bit further out, like the elbow area or the nail or the mid post and the wings, now you become a little bit more of a threat to extend out more. So I'm not forcing you to say, hey, I'm going to dedicate this whole summer shooting threes. So you don't have to do that. There are different ways to score more points with just out of play besides just shooting three more. And last but not least, for my non-shooters or my defenders or my athletic players, okay, you guys get really, really good at defense. By getting good at defense, I mean cause more turnovers so your teams get more opportunity to score. That means that your team gets more opportunity to score. That means you get more opportunity to score. So if you get more steals, guess what? That means more fast break points. Or if you get more turnovers, it means more chances for you to score the ball in general. The players in this group have it the easiest, but they also have it the roughest because more than likely either a raw player, a lot of potential, you're a beginner, you never really had the skill to begin with, you're just athletic. So it's kind of tough for you because you don't have the coordination and skill to really be able to do anything yet. But it's also the easiest for you because you have so much more room to grow and work on. You can branch into pretty much any of these roles if you don't know what you are yet. So you can either want to get really good at defense and lean more towards that, or B, see if you fit any of the descriptions before I just said. So you can be kind of a bit more of a shooter, more of a scorer, or a little bit more of a slasher and off the ball player. You can find your way into that. But if none of those things you seem to really fit you, you're not really sure, nothing kind of, you know, scratch that itch like you needed to, I'd say start, start scoring off the ball. You know, figure out how to be really good with catch and shoot, working your hand a little bit, but if you can be a decent enough shooter with your catch and shoot, you can pretty much fit on any team if you get enough players. So if you fit one of these four categories, let me know. Let me know what description that you fit under and what helps you out the most. But overall, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, go ahead and subscribe. If you got some value from it, share it from a teammate or somebody you know that needs to watch it and listen to it. And tell them to subscribe too. But subscribe, like, share. Appreciate you for tuning in. See you on the next video.